So right here is my childhood copy of Pokemon Platinum. I haven't played this in years. It's probably been a good eight to 10 years since I've played on this cartridge right here. I'm really interested to see what Pokemon I have on my team and what I have in like the PC and everything. All right, I turned off my light to try to get the least amount of glare in here. It's not really working though. I wouldn't mind playing this game over again, honestly. Oh my gosh, look at this. My name is Fartman. I have 131 hours on here. Eight badges and 295 Pokemon in the Pokedex. Wow, this feels so smooth. I don't know why. Maybe it's because Scarlet and Violet are just so laggy. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got on my team right now. All right, so I got a level 100 Empoleon. Don't know how I got a level 100 Empoleon and a Giratina. Level 100, okay. Level 14 Bidoof that I named Bev Bev. Level 29 Staravia. Level 50, Banet, and level 47, Gabite. That's such a weird team. I don't know why I have a Starava, Staravia on here. Who knows what, you know, six or five-year-old me, however old I was, was doing. I'm going to head over to the PC, though. Dang, this is crazy, man. I think this is probably my favorite Pokemon game. All of the sound effects are so nice and kind of nostalgic. Oh, yeah, Infernape. I must have used my action replay on this game too i had an action replay when i was a kid i beat the game without it but i ended up getting an action replay a years later and i think i went on my old pokemon games and you know used a bunch of rare candies on a lot of my pokemon so i think all these level 100s are probably from that infernape though awesome pokemon i love the whole luxury line as a kid too so that's kind of cool do i have anything like cool in here why is my box empty Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, dang it, I can't go back. There we go. Hey, I got a Raichu. I love Raichu. Probably one of my favorite Pokemon right there, too. Togekiss, level 80. Let's see, do I have any legendaries or anything? I don't think I do. Oh, I do. I have uh, Uxi, Uxi. I can never pronounce this one. I'm going to say Uxi. Got Uxi in there. I wonder if I have any shinies. I don't think I knew what a shiny Pokemon was out at this time. Okay, we got Mesprit and Azelf. All the little sprites, like the icons of these Pokemon. I love that old style. It's it's so cool. I mean, this really isn't that old. This is like, what, 2008? 2007? I can't remember when this game came out. Alright, yeah, it was definitely 2008. Moving on to Box 3. I don't think I have anything that exciting in this box. Just a bunch of random... Pokemon that I caught, check out box four. Also, if I'm missing anything, comment down below if I missed like a cool Pokemon or like a shiny or something like that. I don't think I have any shinies, but. All right, doesn't seem like I have anything in box five that, that crazy. So move on to box six. Okay, this is the one we saw. I don't have that many Pokemon, surprisingly. I have three legendaries in here. Don't know how I got the legendaries, but I have them. All right, let's go walk around. Dang, I love this style. Dang, the music is crazy. Oh, I remember this area really vividly for some reason. This this uh, rock construction area. Nostalgia is so weird when it comes to video games because it's like you're revisiting a place that you walked through, I guess I'll say, years ago. It's just such a strange feeling, but it's it's a good feeling. Dang, I really want to play this game over again, honestly. I don't want to reset my save file, though, so... One thing that I don't like about the new Pokemon games is how wild Pokemon look. I loved running through the grass. It's just so, it's so nice, right? All right, let's see. Oh, I got him a chop. I guess I'll fight him with my level 100 Empoleon. The only thing I don't miss about the older generation games is running into just a million wild Pokemon in the grass. Like, I like the look of the grass better, and I like running through the grass, but dude, sometimes it's just so annoying when you run into Pokemon after Pokemon, and you're just trying to, you know, you're just trying to get to the next area. All right, I went back to the storage, and I found the Pokemon that I had Fly on, which is Togekiss, which kind of makes sense. I don't really know where I want to go. Man, there's seriously just nothing like the old school animation. I keep saying old school, when it's like not that old school, but it also is. Like, I'm sure the kids that grew up on like Pokemon Red and Blue and everything are like, bro, this is not an old school Pokemon game. But to me, this is kind of an old school Pokemon game. I think I was six years old when this game came out. I don't know what happened to most of my childhood Pokemon games. I used to have a lot more, and then I think I sold them on eBay or asked my mom to sell them on eBay like when I was... 
probably 10 or something. Definitely regret that. I wish I had them still. I currently only have Pokemon Black and Platinum for the DS. Like, I, I have, like, you know, the Switch Pokemon games or whatever and a few on the 3DS, but some of the old school ones, though, like, I don't have any of them. I literally only have Platinum and Black, which are two great games, and I am super happy I have them still. It's still crazy to see how much all the Pokemon games have gone up in value. Like, I think I got this Pokemon Platinum at GameStop for $20 or something like that. I have the case still for it, and I think I still have, like, the little price tag that's, like, inserted in the case. I think I got it for 20 or 25 bucks. so it's crazy because I think this is worth, like, around, like, $80 now. I don't really know for sure, but... It's, it's just crazy to think how these games have gone up in value, and it's like, will they continue to go up in value? The demand is always going to be there. Like, the demand for all things Pokemon is just always growing. People just love Pokemon. So, I don't really know if Pokemon games will ever go down in price or continue to go up. It's hard to say. I low-key feel like they're just going to continue to go up. Also, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of walking around. I don't like going in caves, though, so I'm going to go back. But, like, in 10 years from now, will this game be worth roughly the same price that it is now? Will it be worth double or triple or half the price? Another thing that's kind of interesting is, like, will the Switch games be worth a lot one day? Because, you know, like, the Switch games, I mean, like, they're worth a lot relatively just because they're newer games. So they're still worth, you know, like, 30 to, like, $40 or something like that. That's cheaper than what they went for retail, like, you know, when they came out in the recent years. So... Interesting stuff to think about. Who knows? Honestly, I don't think the Switch games will ever be worth as much or go up in value as much as like the DS, 3DS, and like Game Boy games or GameCube and stuff. But I'm just talking more of like the mainline series stuff. But yeah, this was fun to look through. I'm definitely going to sit back for a while, walk around, maybe do some battles, think about replaying it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see a similar one, I did the same thing with Pokemon Black. So make sure to head over to my channel and check that out. Uh -huh.